So in this living room, I've had an 83 inch OLED TV, multiple 100 inch LED TVs, and now we have a 150 inch screen up with ultra short throw projectors that all look fantastic. But going even bigger with a superior technology like micro LED has never been realistic until now. So I'm gonna explain to you guys what's going on with AWOL Vision's micro LEDs. And I think this is one of the most exciting videos that I've ever done on YouTube. So stick around, it's gonna get interesting. So at CES 2025, we got the opportunity to meet with AWOL Vision in their suite where they had various micro LED TVs on display and it was pretty impressive. And we had three main takeaways from meeting with them. The first is affordability, which is a big one. And that's been a limiting factor to date with regards to micro LED. Second is gonna be that they have prepackaged sizes. So you're not just stuck with you know a wall or nothing. And three, the expandability, which I think is important because if you are gonna be buying something and then you wanna expand it later, you kinda of wanna know your options instead of just having one prepackaged size that can't be expanded upon. So when it comes to affordability, we're not talking about like your typical Walmart TV that's 200 bucks. I mean, it is still a new technology, a budding technology that AWOL is trying to corner here and make it affordable for you. So we're talking about taking something that was $250,000 and bringing it down under $50,000 or a more common size like the 75 inch under eight grand, which can be competitive when you're talking about some expensive tech that's currently out there. The problem is that other consumer electronics companies that are out there spending billions of dollars in research to bring micro LED or other kinds of technology to you also have competing products that are much less expensive. So it's challenging for them to want to bring those prices down in order to compete or cannibalize their own product lineups that are selling like hotcakes as it is, right? So AWOL has partnered with the company overseas to launch new micro LED TVs in the United States that are going to be much more commercially available. And that company just built an 850,000 square meter factory that's gonna be ramping up production in March. And this new factory is gonna have updated robotic equipment. So the prices that we're already talking about will probably come down even further. So I'm gonna talk about the 162 inch because that's obviously what we need here. But let's first start with the 75 inch model. So the 75 inch and the 81 inch come pre-assembled straight from the factory. The 75 inch is actually a 21 by nine ratio. So a cinemascope ratio you can watch widescreen movies on. But if you don't wanna watch a widescreen movie, you can also watch your traditional 16 by 9 and have multi view on this so you can have two more screens to the right I think the ones with the internal processor can do four different views at once with I think up to six HDMI inputs which is kind of crazy and the ones with the external processors the larger models can do even more and the 81 inch is actually the traditional 16 by 9 now these are both really big for most people but they come with everything that you'd think you'd get from a TV I mean they even have a TV stand it has a full bezel around the outside of it inside you get the processor Google TV operating system, and you even get two 50 watt speakers. So straight from the factory, you're getting a TV, but it's even better because it's micro LED. And to get to a 75 inch micro LED, you're actually connecting six of these panels with eight different chip on board displays per panel. So it's a total of 48 chip on board displays connected together with the bezel all wrapped up with the processor and all that. So it's pretty awesome. And the difference between micro LED and regular LED is that there's actually one to two million LED bulbs in this 75 inch TV. So every pixel can be lit and turned off leading to incredible brightness. And at the same time, basically infinite dynamic contrast, which compared to the LED TV, TV that you know every hotel room has is a night and day difference. I mean, you can even see the reflection of the micro LED in this LED TV, making it brighter than the LED TV itself. And if you break it down even further, you're talking about 28,200 LEDs on one of these chip on board displays. And we got a chance to look at that under a microscope, which is pretty cool. And they can have different pixel pitches, which we'll talk about in a minute. But basically, the smaller pixel pitch, the better. That means they're closer together and therefore more pixels pixels on your screen. Micro LEDs can last up to 100,000 hours. And that's one thing that we always hear about OLEDs or the main complaint, I guess, is that it's organic material and people are worried about burn-in, which we've seen in the past and companies have come out with ways to limit or reduce burn-in. But that's not gonna happen with micro LED. You have no burn-in problems. And at the same time, you also have no limitations on the brightness full screen. And you'd think that if the micro LEDs were this bright, that it would be hot. But I put my hand up to the screen and I didn't feel any heat coming off them at all, 
which is awesome. We're talking about 1200 nits of brightness, 12,000 to one native contrast and infinite dynamic contrast. And just for reference this year, the new QD OLEDs, I think it's fourth generation are looking at 400 nits full screen brightness. So we're talking a significant improvement from that on micro LED. And so if we're comparing apples to apples, it's not even close. And these micro LEDs can come with a glossy anti-reflective finish too. In the actual suite, we saw it with just the matte finish, which is kind of how they prefer it. But I also would like to see it with that glossy anti-reflective coating to see if it increases that native contrast. So you can get them in both options there. So we briefly talked about affordability, which we'll, we'll speak about in a second again. And we've talked about the pre-packaged design. Now I want to talk about the expandability because that's another thing. So if you're getting that 75 inch, like 21 by nine or CinemaScope aspect ratio, and you want to upgrade later, you can actually do that. So to get to that 81 inch, all you're going to be doing is adding three more of those panels on top of the six that you already have in your TV. And you can actually get that directly from the company. There's going to be an expandable kit. So you would just add the three more pieces, expand the bezel up and around, and then you're going to have that same processor now controlling all nine panels in that 16 by nine ratio for an 81 inch, as opposed to that CinemaScope 21 by nine at 75 inch. So that's really cool that you can expand that. And you can also expand larger sizes as well. The different will be that you'd have to have an external processor, the H2 processor from Novastar, which we're going to talk about in a second. Now, a couple things to think about. You will have to pay for each of those panels and it takes it away from being pre-packaged, but it's still cool that you can upgrade your TV without having to start from scratch. But you can get bonus parts that you can't with regular TVs, of course. So if one of the chip on board displays gets cracked or someone throws a baseball through it or you just have dead pixels, you're able to get a new piece, put it on, replace it like new. We actually got an opportunity to take the chip on board off, which I was a little nervous to do, but really wanted to, to test it out and see how it works. And you can see on the back side the amount of tech that's packed into these. It's really impressive that this is actually becoming a reality with how much is involved. Jen also got an opportunity to do it. And of course, anything I can do, she can do just as well. So popped it right off, popped it right back on. Pretty cool experience for us to get a chance to do this. So now that we have the 75 and the 81 inch out of the way, I want to talk about the most important one, the 162 inch micro LED that they had up on the wall is absolutely impressive. I think the fact that the suite was a little smaller than they anticipated was a positive because that thing looked literally like a wall. It was awesome. And I want to have that in the house because max size is always the thing that we wanted to show you guys on this channel. And to get that size, we're gonna actually have to have an external processor, the Novastar H2 processor I was talking about before, that will be connected with a bunch of ethernet wires into the system. So you'd have to have this kind of integrated into your rack or home theater or whatever, but the cost is actually competitive with a lot of high-end projector systems. So if you're talking to me about having a 162 inch micro LED in there or a ultra short throw projector or a long throw projector, you gotta start considering a bunch of different factors. I mean, it's a pretty good amount of installation to put a projector in and you still have to throw that one way or the other. A micro LED is all gonna be contained within the TV structure. You're gonna have about 18 wires going to the actual processor and then each of these panels will be connected as well, but still it's gonna look amazing up on the wall and then you're gonna have a much higher peak brightness, much better contrast. You won't necessarily have to have it in a dark room. The micro LED could be in a bright room. I think a lot of people that are putting these up in businesses or in homes at this point are doing that in a brighter room because micro LED can be so bright. So to potentially bring this home into your home theater at the price point of under $50,000 has to be considered. So obviously $50,000 is a lot of money. I mean, it's far less than 250,000 but it's a lot more than your average TV. But back in the day, we were talking about plasma TVs that were in the 50 and 60 inch size that were over $10,000. So technology or cutting edge technology at least has always been rather expensive. I'm just excited that this is a possibility and it's actually competitive with other products. For example, the 97 inch OLED that we had in the house was over $30,000. So I mean, if you're talking apples to apples, I mean, you can get a 108 inch micro LED for less than that $30,000 OLED. OLED and it's 11 inches bigger. So they actually have two models. The 0.9 pixel pitch is 25,000 while the 1.2 millimeter pixel pitch is actually 15,000. And what that refers to is how far apart are each of these LEDs. 0.9 is closer. 
so that's more expensive, more per chip on board display. But either way, these are less expensive. They're 11 inches larger, and at 10 to 15 feet away, you're probably not gonna notice the difference between 0.9 and 1.2 millimeters apart for these pixels and resolution. But at the same time, I'm just giving you the options. Definitely less expensive and bigger and expandable, all benefits to the micro LED over the OLED, while it's brighter too. And another benefit to the micro LED is that you can do the multi-view where you can't on the OLED TV. You're just getting one input at a time on the OLED TV, but you can do multiple on this micro LED with the H2 processor. As far as installation goes for the larger units, again, you're gonna have to have it custom installed or you can do it yourself. The company says that it should take two people two hours. I'm a little hesitant to say that I'll be able to install it with someone else in four hours, especially if it's my wife. We might get into a little problem there, but she's pretty helpful. She's, she's probably more helpful than I am. Or we'll just have Eric mediate as he always does. He'll probably even read the instructions to help us out. But the bottom line is minimum four man hours, you'll have this thing up and running or hopefully close to it and you can go from there. Now we'll have Google TV, but you can also integrate it into smart smart home APIs like Control 4 and other smart home systems. So the sky's the limit as far as integration. Now, a couple of things that people are gonna probably ask about, and so I'm gonna address right now, are brightness and resolution. So I think we can address them all at once. So if you do the math on these different pixel pitches, you can understand that the 4K unit is a 162 inch at the 0.9 pixel pitch. That gets you 4K resolution. And some of the smaller units are not 4K just because of the amount of pixels they have. But the brightness, and the contrast and what you're watching looks amazing regardless. So I'm not sure that it's as big of a deal as people may think, but it's just something to note that you literally have a resolution when you do the math. Now, AWOL Vision is talking about a 0.7 millimeter pixel pitch. So if they can do that and keep it affordable, then obviously we're excited for that too. And another thing is the brightness. Now I've heard some micro LEDs talking about 10,000 nits of peak brightness and the pixel pitch could be 0.5 millimeter pixel pitch. And now we're starting to talk about what could be in the future possibly. But at the same time, if you're having pixels that dense, that bright, that hot, now you're starting to talk about things that aren't really coming through fruition right now. And at the same time, we're talking about affordability, right? So if you're wanting to get into the micro LED game like AWOL Vision's doing here, we're talking about how to bring this to the masses, not just to the uber rich. So while it may sound cool to have that brightness or the pixel density, it's just not happening right now. And I'm looking forward to the future with AWOL Vision to see how they can produce and how they can reduce the costs going forward. But it's a very exciting time and I'm excited to get the 162 inch in my house to show you guys, set it all up, do an install video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check the links in the description below to get more information on the AWOL Vision Micro LED. And make sure to you know smash the like button and subscribe to the channel so we can keep bringing you content like this. And we'll see you guys in the next video.